Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome back. This video is part of a blog hop where we celebrate the April release by Altenew and for today's video I will be using this adorable stamp set. This is the Folksy Florals stamp set and I will be creating a window card. Now this is the first time I'm using these stamps and that's why I like to prep them with the palm just by rubbing them and I will get a nice and solid uh, stamping every time. I like to do that only with solid stamps. So I will go ahead and stamp the second part. Now you can mix and match all these flowers that are available in the stamp set. And um, you can even create different layers by stamping these two that I have stamped here, one on top of the other. But I decided to go separately just because there are separate dies as well. And I'm planning to uh, cut them out and stack them one on top of the other. So I have already stamped a bunch of uh, those tulips and now I'm moving on to stamp uh, a bunch of leaves. At this stage I don't know how many leaves I'm going to need for my composition at the end, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp a lot. The colors I'm using are from um, a novel set that is called Tropical uh, Forest and these are my favorite uh, green inks to use for happy flower cards. So I'm going to stamp the second layer now with a slightly darker ink and this is Parrot. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see that I'm not trying to align anything here. I just go and uh, stamp the detail quickly. And now I will have to do the die cutting. I'm going to use the matching dies. And I'm also going to use the cutest die cutting machine ever. This is the Mini Blossom die cutting machine by Altenew. And I'm going to run everything through to cut it out. Each time I think I am cutting four different shapes like the small and the large part of the tulip, a stem and one leaf. Now I am going to use my Distress Oxide ink here and this is Broken China. And I'm going to add some uh, inking at the back of my window. As you can see I have already prepared my standard which is a four and a quarter by five and a half in white and I have a panel that I, all I did is uh, that I have used a circle die at the center to create my window. So this is a card that I am creating for Stella. She is a very close friend of mine and actually last week both our families were traveling together in Amsterdam. We had an amazing time and um, that's how I got the inspiration for using those tulips. This is a birthday card that I am creating for her and she had her birthday while we were traveling in Amsterdam. I didn't have to give her one of my cards and she gets a card of, uh, from me every year. So I'm creating this card for her and that's what I'm trying to mix and match here. I am trying to create a um, sentiment that will fit the occasion. So there is a sentiment in this stamp set that says I hope you have the best birthday and uh, instead I wanted to make it uh, say I hope you had the best birthday and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some post-it tape and do some masking and stamp exactly what I need. So now at the front it says hope you had and I'm going to add three dots and on the inside I'm going to stamp the rest of the message. And now at the back of the panel I'm adding some foam tape and the idea here is to create a little tulip garden inside that window just because we celebrated uh, her birthday in Amsterdam. Now I'm going to add some uh, dimension on all my tulips and for that I'm going to use this stylus with the foam pad from the sculpting uh, tool by Sizzix. I'm going to add some dimension by just uh, pressing at the back of its uh, piece and I will do the same for the leaf just to add a little bit of dimension everywhere. And now as you can see I am assembling all the flowers. I'm just adding a dot of uh, white glue at the bottom and uh, putting everything together. And uh, I end up having a lovely dimensional flower which then I'm going to use on my card. For sticking down the stems I'm using Alte New glue tape while for the flowers I'm adding a tiny little uh, foam square at the back. Now don't forget that this is uh, part of a blog hop so make sure to visit my blog because um, if you follow along you will find tons of inspiration for the new release as well as lots of giveaways. You will find the link down below in the description area if you are watching on YouTube. And uh, as always you will find a full list of all the supplies that I am using down below as well. 
After having all the flowers there, I will start uh, sticking down the leaves. And uh, for those, I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe white glue. And to finish off my card, I'm going to add some uh, dots with my clear Nouveau drops in different areas of the tulips and uh, my background. And finally, I went ahead and uh, stamped the rest of the sentiment inside that says the best birthday. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to hop along with us for lots of inspiration and giveaways. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.